Hey guys, I hope you're doing well. Oh, it's taken me three months to get rid of <laughs> this one feature. Um, I didn't even like it at all, but it's taken me quite a bit of time because I kept procrastinating, but I'm going to finally remove it and I'm going to show you guys also how to do it. So, the feature I'm talking about is obviously the iPhone mirroring onto the MacBook probably one of the most annoying features for me because if someone is looking at my screen my whole business is, is on the screen but um, anyway so you want to click on the little phone on your dock it's going to be on your dock you want to click on the phone and there are a couple of options depending on what you want to do i want to remove it completely some people may want to keep it there but quitting won't be enough because every time you start up your computer it's going to be there so you've got a couple options here keep in dock open at login and all that um mine i guess it's on open at login but anyway um enough of me rumbling so now once you click it go to the top left corner go to iphone mirroring and go to settings and settings is gonna ask you whether you want it to ask you every time or you know you want it to authenticate automatically I want to remove it, so I'm going to refoc access completely. And that's it. That's the whole thing. Now, at this point, it's going to ask you if you want to, you know, if you want to set it up again. Yeah, j just just close that. Um, you've already revoked access. Just close it. And you might want to remove it from your dock. But yeah, that's about it. 